Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can use simple purifying cleansing lotion which can help you to remove any excess oil, dirt, sweat and makeup from the skin. It is suitable for all skin types and you can use it daily in the morning as well as evening. Now there are different ways on how you can use the cleansing lotion and this is now what I'm about to share with you. One thing that won't change is that there is no water involved. Unless you want to, and this is the additional tip that I want to share with you at the end. But we are going to keep it a completely dry way. I'm currently wearing makeup so that I can give you the demonstration on how effectively it can take it off because otherwise you wouldn't see anything. And so therefore, when it comes to what method you're going to do, it basically depends on what works the best for you. So the way on how it is recommended is basically go ahead, Take some cotton pads, then you would dispense the product on the cotton pad and then swipe it across your face. Now you could do the same instead of using cotton pads with either reusable cotton pads or maybe just those makeup cloths or microfiber cloths, then dispense some product on this as well, leaving the cloth like dry and then again swipe it gently across your face. Or what you can also do if that works well for you is dispense some of the lotion on the palm of your hand, rub between your hands and then gently massage it over your face and neck for about 30 seconds to a minute and then take it off with your cotton pads or a cloth. So there are different ways on how you can use it and this is now what I'm about to share with you. So starting off with the cotton pads, go ahead make sure that you're going to take a clean cotton pad then you're going to dispense some product onto the cotton pad. If you're using this size of cotton pad, I recommend not overdoing it because what you can do is then put that, like rub it together so it's going to distribute the product much better. And then you can like see that you have product everywhere on the cotton pad and then swipe it across your face. So I'm going to go about that much, like a blob, as you can see. Now I'm going to rub the cotton pad together so I have distributed it over the cotton pad and now you can go ahead and gently swipe it across your face. You can use it on top of your eyelids underneath as well. Just make sure to not get it into your eyes nor into your mouth. Now you can of course use a bit of pressure. So especially that if you're wearing makeup that you can properly take it off the skin. So and as you can see it is able to take off the foundation that I'm wearing. And if you're going to use your cotton pads for the entire face and you should feel the need of using more than one depending on what you're wearing and depending on how fast you're going to swipe it across your face, you can just turn it around, again dispense some product on it and then rub it together so that you can just use the other side of the cotton pad instead of always using a new one. So this would be now one method and once you have swiped it across your face, it just leaves a very light moisturizing layer afterwards which isn't uncomfortable so you just can leave it as it is. However, if you now say, well, I do not want to use cotton pads, I want to use something that's reusable. So this could be reusable cotton pads or again, the washcloth that I have right here. So if you should have a washcloth, what you can do either in the center or corner, depending on your preference, again, dispense some product. Here you can use more than just the blob that I used earlier, depending on for like the entire face that you may want to use it for. Then just go ahead, use an amount of that, something like this as an example. Rub it together just with the cotton as I did with the cotton pads so I can distribute the product on the cloth. And then again, you're going to gently swipe it across your face. And it just works extremely effectively to take it off just as I've done with the cotton pads. So, and it is able to take off the makeup that I have worn right here on this part of the face because now I want to move on to the last method which you can do. And this would be using a fair amount, about a coin size amount, and then rub it between your hands and massage it over your face and neck and then take it off with either a cotton pad or a cloth. So go ahead, dispense some product on the palm of your hand. About that much, more or less. Rub your hands together and then gently massage it over your face and neck. This can be about 30 seconds to a minute or a bit longer if you have worn makeup so that you can properly break it down. And then again, when using it around the eyes, just again, make sure to not get it into your eyes, but you can use it, especially if you have worn eye makeup 
and even use it later on on your lips. So, and once you have mastered it all over your face and neck and you are sure that you have broken down the makeup if you have worn it throughout the day, now you can go ahead and again just either use a cotton pad and gently swipe it across your face to take off the excess as well as your makeup so it will land on your cotton pad so that you can properly take it off as you can see right here. Or you can go ahead and again use the cloth the dry way, just leave it dry and then again, the same thing as with the cotton pad, gently swipe it across your face to take off the lotion as well as any crude oil, dirt, sweat and makeup. So now once you have taken everything off, again you can feel the light layer, it isn't uncomfortable, it just feels like a light moisturizer that's still left on the skin. But just make sure that you get most of it off and your makeup and the excess oil, dirt and sweat because this is really important to properly take off so go ahead and take your time. So this would be then how you can use the cleansing lotion just on its own completely dry way with the different methods that I just demonstrated. However, if you should feel like that it's going to leave a residue afterwards that still may be a bit uncomfortable or you just want to make sure that you can properly get everything off the skin, especially if you have worn like makeup throughout the day, then another additional tip that I can share with you is again using a clean washcloth just as I used earlier, but instead of using it the dry way, you're going to wet it and then you're going to squeeze most of it out so that it's going to be damp and then swipe it across your face and neck to make sure that any last traces are coming off the skin. So, and then gently swipe it across your face. So, and now once you have used it with a damp cloth, well then there you have it. This would be an additional tip that you can do if you just want to make sure that everything comes properly off the skin. And so this is basically how you can use the simple purifying cleansing lotion with the different methods. I recommend trying them out and see what works the best for you, but it is extremely gentle. You can use it around the eyes without any concerns and it does remove the makeup very effectively as you can see right here plus it feels extremely moisturizing afterwards. So this is what I wanted to share with you on how you can use the cleansing lotion. I do hope that you enjoyed this video, that you find it helpful. If you did so, please don't forget to give the thumbs up as well as share it. And if you now want to learn more about skincare, I'm going to leave some of the videos at the end of this video. If you want to follow with your skincare routine or maybe see other cleansing methods, then there you will find those. Or if you want to in general learn more about specific skincare products, you will find those videos on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skin caring. Bye!